Fast Wings, this was Lee Trevino. problem that, that Lou Graham had, but he's close enough to the green, and, and with the shots that this guy has, he'll have no trouble just punching a little wedge here. Well, this is the type of course, I guess, Ed, with all the trees and such, where, you know, you, you've got to hit it low sometimes, you've got to hit it high, you, you have to use a lot of different shot-making skills. Well, this guy has them all, I can tell you that. A little over 100 yards, and a little low draw. Yes, he did. He started that ball out at the right side of the green with a little draw, and you can see where it ended up. That, that's Lee Trevino at his best. He can do it all. I didn't think, David, he could hit it right to left. Huh? He can hit anything you would ask him to hit. And I think he loves to do it. I think when he faces a shot like that, it, it puts more of a challenge, and, and he enjoys it more. Well, Ed, what he does, too, is he plays that game with Claudia where she'll tell him, well, you hit this club, and I want to see this kind of shot. He's got to do it when they're fooling around at home in Dallas. Now, this was Lee Trevino a moment ago at the ninth. So, back to back birdies for Trevino, and he's now at two under. It's also back to back good shots. That was a good shot at eight, a good shot at nine, and that's where you, you increase your chance of making the putt. Hit the green zone. Great guy. Now on the tee at 10, Lee Trevino. Well, Roger, Lee has put the ball on the ground again using a three-wood. Not a long hole. Put it in the fairway is the most important thing here. So, Ed, even with the three-wood, he doesn't use a tee at all? Well, he kind of tees it up. He kicks the ground a little bit and gets a tuft of grass uh, underneath the ball. So it, it sits up like it's on a tee, maybe a half an inch high. But he's, he's just more comfortable playing that club off the ground than he is with a tee. 110 yards, Roger, with a wedge, a sand wedge. Oh, goodness. Roger, there was a shot where the pin being on the right of the green caused Lee to cut the ball. Now, he just finished playing a draw at number nine, and he played a left to right shot there. This guy is maybe the best shot maker in the game for the last 15 or 20 years. Well, he's got his third straight birdie looking at him straight in the face there at 10. And Lee Trevino at 10. This would be for his third consecutive birdie. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier when you get it inside of 10 feet on a regular basis. So Trevino now at 300, just one back. Tied for the lead. And so we go to Lee Trevino on the tee at 11. Another very tight hole. Oh, in. He's lost the ball a little bit to the right side. Maybe. It'll hang. And Ned, it finds the deep rough. Uh, look almost like maybe he hurt his back here. He just pulled off of it, David. Yeah, he reached down like he was going to Yeah, look at it. Yeah. Of course, he has had a little bit of a back problem, and you see. Trevino swings, very open stance, takes the club back uh, quite a bit outside from what you think he's going to take it. Then as he makes his full turn, big shoulder turn there, very strong. Now from that position, he's real strong. Good move there, right arm right against the right side. Drives through and under. And Wonderful golf swing. Stay with this. He comes off of it and immediately goes down to his his back. Well, you can see there's an awful lot of weight on his right side yeah. there. His yeah. arms are trying to go forward. See the grimace on his face right there? Yeah. That may be because the ball went to the right. Well, it could be. But, you know, if anyone, if you've ever tried to hit with a real open stance and turn, I mean, it does put a lot of pressure on that right side of your back. I try not to do that. Yeah. With Lee's back, we noticed on the, the tee shot, the little grimace and 
I didn't see any, Roger. He's just got a pitching wedge here from about 120 or 25 yards out of the rough. Played it nice and low. Kept it underneath the tree limb. Look at look at the feel this man has. I mean, he just played a bumpy. He played a draw on the ninth hole. He played a cut at the tenth hole, a left to right shot, and he just hit a bump and run shot. I mean, it, it's just marvelous to watch this man play golf. Uh, he's an artist, and that would be his fourth consecutive birdie if he would make that short putt. You can become a good putter, David, when you have putts that short for birdie, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the putting. And we go back to Lee Trevino. This will be for four consecutive birdies. And that's his sixth birdie on the day. He's also made a couple of bogeys. Roger, as close as he's hit the ball to the hole, I think you could have made those putts uh, for birdie. I, I mentioned that to David just a little while ago. Ed, you've been watching my stroke lately, haven't you? It sure helps, though, doesn't it, Ed? Boy, when you can get it inside five and six feet consistently, you're going to make a few of them. Now, Lee Trevino on the tee at the par 312. Yards. <laughs> well, Lee said that's as hard as he can hit it, and it's just perfect. Pin high. The fifth consecutive birdie chance. You know, Roger, although Lee wasn't on the same line, he, he was on a similar line, and he watched Lou's ball as it slowed up near the hole. This gives the player a good feel for the speed, and it gives the player a feel if the ball's really going to do very much at the hole. This for the lead. Should break to his right. We got some action here now. Five. <laughs> Five indeed. He took a lot of the break out of that putt. That one went in at a, at a pretty good clip. I think Trevino again will be trying to put the ball into the left side of the fairway because the pin is on the right side of the green. And that will leave the easiest shot. He's hit the ball down the right side. Again, with the shots he has in his bag, I don't think he'll have a, a great deal of problem. The he left just, side just gives you more room to bounce right. the ball to the hole if you need to. Yeah, he's just got to come over that bunker there now with this third shot. Significant? Are we moving on our record right there? Well, the, the record, Roger, is eight, both on the senior tour and on the junior tour. A number of people have made eight birdies in a row in the history of these tours. Bob Golby once, Fuzzy Seller once, and Dewey Arnett on the senior tour. Chi-Chi made eight birdies in a row in 1987 once. Okay, now, Lee's third shot at the par five. Well, Roger, he, for a guy like this, I think he should get this ball close. He's only about 40 yards from the hole, 45 yards. He's just going to take a sand wedge and pitch it over the bunker. Has plenty of green to work with. Yeah. <laughs> That's three pretty good shots in there, Ed. Well, those guys know how to play these shots. I mean, they, they haven't played the game this long that well without knowing how to play those shots. Here we go for six in a row. Pointing to Herman Mitchell, then he said, yeah, I, I like it. He's now at three under as we go to 14 and Lee Trevino. <laughs> Left-hand side. Well, he started that ball down the left, Roger, trying to cut it back into the fairway. It didn't didn't move very much. It stayed there. But he's, he's not in a bad position, even though that tree... Now at 14, Lee Trevino. 
Well, Lee is blocked slightly by that tree, but I'm looking for him to keep the ball down a little bit, play a little bit of a hook, if he can, out of that line. I like it. I like it. I like it. Talking it over with his caddy, Herman Mitchell, said he likes the idea. Well, if I could play those shots, I'd like it, too. That's what he did. He played a little bit of a hook. He's got to get up. It sounded like he caught it a little bit heavy, but he's underneath the hole. I'll get a little fat, Herman. You've got to hook it around that tree. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's the thing about Lee. You know, he's always talking to Herman. You know, whether it's good or bad. Well, it's about time he made a long one, isn't it, Ed? Well, Roger, this one is... <laughs> he's had a lot of short ones. A little tougher than the average long yeah. shot. guarded against losing that ball to the right of the hole because if he had been that much to the right it could have rolled back down that slope. So Trevino at five under, one shot lead right now. Does he yet? Well it's a little side hill, it'll go slightly to his right and uh, it's just in that zone where it becomes difficult at times. Done. Trevino maintains that one shot lead. So maybe this week it will be Jack chasing oh Lee instead of Lee. Groups coming through. Well, in the morning the greens are a little softer. As they dry out, it's a little more difficult. It should be a. How much green we got to the left of the This is Michael George impersonation right there. Tongue out. Should be a very comfortable eight iron. Somebody's moving back here. I guess he'll play a draw here, starting right toward the center of the green. in the hole. Another fine golf shot by Lee Trevino, who's got a one-shot lead, and this is the first round of the U.S. Senior Open. You know, sometimes he does tee up a fairway wood, but I think here, as long as he is off the tee, he hit a driver. He just has a pitching wedge left. Three, three. Jack Nicholas, and just a moment ago, Trevino on the tee at 17. And that was definitely right to left. Big par five, measuring 554 yards. Lee also, right in the center of the fairway, just taking an iron, probably cut it against the hillside. Sounded very solid. Hit it up the right hand side. Uh, it's starting to roll down. As you can see, yeah. very difficult to put the ball in the right side. But he has a good angle. Dropping the ball because his ball was in right next to that sprinkler head, right on part of the sprinkler, so he gets relief. And he's redropping because the ball evidently rolled a little bit closer to the hole. Uh, 
So now, after two drops, what you do is point where that hit the ground. Well, you don't get to look around for a, a good line. He's asking Lou Graham if uh, it, it rolled closer, and they're trying to decide if it actually did. If it did not roll closer, he must play it. If it did roll closer, he must place it because he dropped. This is the second time he dropped it. Let me have it. It is, it is two and then, and then uh, yeah, twice. That's right. And it's two to the host. Trevino at six under. This is third shot at 17. Just over 90 yards to the hole. Taking a sand wedge. He's going to play a low draw, I'm sure. That side hill lie, you know, it's... He's it's afraid of pulling that. Yeah. You don't want to miss it left there. As they replant some sod. We'll be back in just a moment. I mean, this, you know, there's so many golfing gurus these days. Because uh -uh. he's a self-taught player, does he... he, he if you ever see him give a clinic, he's very, very good. He's one of the brightest guys that I've ever seen, not only about his golf game, but about other people's golf game. And uh, he just found a way for him to play, and that's who he sees. So maybe there's a lot to be said for that, huh? Well, in some cases, players can be self-taught, but he's observed other players through the right. years. And he's played a lot of golf with Nicholas through the years, and uh, you pick up things from other good players. This is for Birdie. Get the seven under. And his ball looked as though it was the hole that went left. Opposite of what Lou Graham said. Mine broke big. Yeah. Well, I played it right now. Now, it's Lee Trevino. On the tee at 18. Well, Roger, he tried to play a fade. It should be perfect for him, but he didn't cut. He just started down the left side and stayed left. I tell you, that has gone way left. I had. That's where I was aiming, over the right gallery. there. It's over by the corporate now, tents. Too long, too long away. It's stiff when you wait this long. There at 18. Now, I don't know how long, and he does like to play fast. You can see, again, the distinctive open stance of Trevino. The club swings back outside and right about here. Takes it up. Big shoulder turn. Great leg drive here. Left heel never leaves the ground. No, he keeps his heel on the ground. If you can do that, that's the way to play. Now, good strong move here. Maybe his left leg got a, got a little too stiff too fast, and when you do that, your left hip spins out of the way. Again, that's where the club goes. And even though you hit it solid, you pull it. But you don't want to miss it to the right. I mean, right, you know yeah. you're dead. They've been much, much smaller, and they've all grown considerably since that time. And maybe uh, some of them have grown out and over the greens and the fairways. But Speaking of trees, uh, Charlie, of trees, yeah. Lee's got one right Lee's now. Lee's got a problem there at 18. Great job. Right. Well, I tell you what, this is the one fairway I thought Lee would get for sure all day long. Uh, left to right, uh, maybe he's gotten accustomed to hooking the ball and he just forgot how to fade it. Well, he's made eight birdies today, and he's hit about every shot you can imagine. <laughs> left to right? right, right to left, low, high. Well, he can do it. And next to hit Lee Trevino, Eddie had a weight on the tees, had a little weight out there now. Well, he's he's not upset. He chipped that ball out. He had no, no other choice, and uh, he thinks he can make par. Taking a little nine iron from about 125 yards. Hit the tree. Yeah. Hit the tree and came way short. Well, yeah, that's that tree that overhangs the right side of the green. He had chipped out to the right side of the fairway and it blocks the player from there. He's some uh, 50 yards short of the uh, of the pin. He left to go to make bogey. Now. Yeah. Well, it's getting interesting here for Lee Trevino now. Well, this is a very unusual situation. Now, Trevino's walking up to 18, and everybody knows there's a problem here. So now, do you, do you applaud the guy because he's had eight birdies so far today? Or, gee, 
you know, he's looking now at maybe making double bogey. Well, you applaud him when he walks on the green. You, yeah. You, you do that. I, I tell you what was just funny was Herman Mitchell, his caddy, just slammed the club down the bag. The caddies are getting mad out here, not the players. David, I think that Lee got fooled on that second shot. I think he hit the ball the way he, he played it, and he caught. I thought he, I think he had thought he had hit it underneath the tree limbs. This is fourth shot now. Yeah. That's no chance. All right. So he's got that left for bogey at 18. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Going to get those replaced as we go to Trevino. For bogey at 18. Got it. Sometimes bogeys will bring you back too, huh? That's a good bogey if there is such an animal. Tree to tree to shining tree, right? Five under 67 for Lee Trevino. Eight birdies and three bogeys. And uh, this just kind of sneaks in there, doesn't it, David? Yeah, because he's right there. He just knows it's short. He's trying to help it. Oh! Sort of like the putt Lady Watkins hit this year at Dallas, if you remember. Yeah, he thought he was going to score it from the In just a moment. <laughs> you, you, had, you, you, don't, you don't need to shave there, Lee. You're doing fine. Never been. Just stay way back, get it? <laughs> Eight, eight birdies and three bogeys. I mean, you mm. played it right to left. You played it left to right. You played it low. You played it high. You, you had all the shots today. Yeah, except the bad bad shots <laughs> on 18. I'll tell you, that, that saved, it saved my day. You know, I would have taken the double bogey because I hit a, a bad drive. But the, I think the reason I hit the bad drive is because I wasn't using my driver that much. 18, and I'm sure Dave said it, it sets up perfect oh, for yeah. me. You know, let it go down the left side and fade it. And I, I just, I hit it dead straight, but I hadn't hit the driver almost. Yeah, I only hit the driver very few times today. Not only did he say it, he said if his life depended on it, yeah. he'd watch you. <laughs> well, if my life depended on it, I would have hit a big banana. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, this golf course is a shot maker's course. I mean, you hit some, you had what, about four, you made five birdies in a row there at one time, mm -hmm. and, and you had four of the putts had to be with inside 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet, when when you made that putt for bogey at 18, we got more reaction out of you on that one putt than in all those birdies. Well, I expected to make the other ones. That one there kind of scared me to death a little bit. Uh, but uh, that particular putt that, that I had there uh, was about a 20-footer. Yeah. Let me tell you something. It, it, you know, making 20-footers is like dogs chasing cars because, you know, you're going to die doing this. You can't. You can't be making 20 footers for double bogey. Yeah, no, I'd be as skinny as Chichi Rodriguez. Look how big I am. You know? You gotta make some birdies the easy way. But but I'll tell you, it, it was it was a good day for me. Uh, great little golf course. Uh, you, you've gotta you've gotta think about what yeah. you're doing here. Not only off the tee, but second shots, so you can have relatively an easy putt. Yeah. yeah. You said you didn't use your driver. That how many times did you use your driver? Today? I think I used my driver three times today. Maybe maybe three, three or four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got a one-shot lead right now over a bunch of pretty good players, but you got a four-shot lead over Nicholas. How does yeah. that set up for you? Uh, Nicholas will be there, or uh, <laughs> something. If, if I can get away from him, you know, if I can shoot a good round tomorrow. Big advantage shooting, uh, I mean, I'm saying this now. It yeah. might not work out. But generally, uh, on a Thursday, I like to go early. I like to post the score and get away from it and let people look at it. Posted the score late, leading late. Very seldom do you have an open uh, leader that tees off late. Mm -hmm. Usually he tees off early, and, and then they usually he, usually he has to play late the next day. Mm -hmm. I have the best of it because I'm, I'm leading right now, teeing off late, and I'm teeing off early in the morning. Yeah, the course is much, I think, much pl much more playable early in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Notice back it was 13 or 14. You, you hit a tee shot, and you felt a little twinge in your... Did you hurt your back out there, or was that just a, it, yeah. it went kind of the wrong way I for think you? my belly got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was just pulling up my pants or something. No, I feel great. I mean, I feel great. I, I don't have uh, not a bone in my body hurts, no. How much fun is it, Lee, playing a course like this, a course that uh, you can really use your skills to the fullest? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun because you know that if you make a bogey, you know, a few other people are making them right along with you. Uh, if you if you make a lot of birdies, I made eight birdies, um, uh, you know, the, uh, very few people are going to stay with you if you can make eight birdies around. 
The one thing that I've proven to Lee Trevino with today's round is that I can make birdies out there. Yeah. I made eight of them. And I, and I really didn't think right off the tee. I took the drivers. I took the three woods where I should have been hitting two irons. And I played out of the rough a little bit today. Yeah. I was quite lucky to shoot 67. Yeah. Where does the senior open rank, in your opinion, with the U.S. Open, the British Open, PG, other major championships? Well, I think you have to separate them. I really do. I think that the other major championships... Uh, you know, they, they they hold their own. The U.S. Open is the U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. uh, the U.S. Senior Open, in my opinion, is, is the biggest tournament that the senior players have. Uh, but it, it, it's it's very difficult to, to, to put them together, like major championship. Everyone's trying to count major championships. I think if you have a senior career, you should count your senior mm -hmm. major championships. If you have a, a what we call a junior career, you should count your, your major championships there. But I don't think you should total them. No, not at all. Everybody's walking this week. Even the caddies. Mm. How'd Herman do out there today? Herman did pretty good. He only went 17 holes. He didn't come back to the first, to the 10th tee. You see, he can. He's right at the eighth. <laughs> nice squeeze right by the. But he wanted to leave the tee early. Here's the driver. I'm going up now. And I said, No, don't leave me now, Herman. <laughs> he says, Man, I got to walk this hole. I said, Listen, you, even if you stay here, or if you leave now, you still got to walk the hole. I said, So wait on me. That's perfect. That's <laughs> he perfect. wanted to leave early. Yeah. yeah. Lee, thanks a lot. Great playing. It was, it was really fun watching you out there. A little this way, a little that way? Yeah, I had it going every direction. I, I was, I, I'm on an up right now. I'm playing yeah. extremely well, and, uh, and uh, I'm having a difficult time sleeping at night because I can't wait to get up because I know I'm going to get to play some more golf. Well, that's a good way Thanks to Thanks very much. Thank you, All Lee. Right. All right, Lee Trevino, our leader, 567.